Hi guys, it's Mina, welcome back. Um, today we're gonna be doing something that I've been wanting to do actually for a while. Um, I did a video back in September called Into the Deep, which was a beautiful ring pour, and it was okay. And then I took it inside my shed and went a little crazy and didn't like part of it and attempted to do things to it and I ended up not liking how it turned out. So, I wanna redo that one today and not make the same mistakes I made last time. So this is a 20 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas from Artist's Loft. You can get them at Michael's. Get them on sale. Okay, I'll show you my colors real quick. <coughs> Same palette as before with one change, two changes. Okay, so we have Golden's Payne's Gray. My paint is thick. It is leaving a mound on a mound on a mound on a mound. There are some air bubbles in it, but it'll be all right. I have Dioxazine Purple from Liquitex Basics. And I was thinking about, and that other one we used, the Golden's Permanent Deep Violet. And um, I almost used that color, and I almost used the Cobalt Violet, but I kind of wanted this darker Dioxazine Purple color from Liquitex Basics. It just, it blends beautifully with the Payne's Gray. It's so pretty. Uh, this one is Golden's Turquoise Thalo. I keep calling it Deep Turquoise, and I'm sorry about that. It's not Deep Turquoise, it's just Turquoise. I think I keep doing that because of they have a teal also. <laughs> okay, so Golden's Turquoise Thalo, mound on a mound on a mound. And then I have Decolor Americana Decor Metallics, 24 karat gold, leaving a mound on a mound on a mound. Okay, this one is Golden's Iridescent Pearl, mixed with a little bit of the Satin Enamels Pure White, leaving a mound on a mound on a mound. Okay, so I'm still having Floetrol issues. Floetrol is like super crazy thin. So to compensate for that, I'm using a little bit more pouring medium and a little bit more paint and all, no water practically, except for the Payne's Gray, that one got water. Okay, if you notice my gold is only half full, that's because normally I would add much this much Floetrol and have this consistency, but if I added that extra three ounces of Floetrol today, it would be like water and my gold would get lost, which it happened in the first one and I don't want that to happen again. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I layered my cup last time and it looked really pretty with the white in the center and all that, but I wanted to, ha I even said in that video, I wish I had put the panes in first. So I'm going to put the panes in first. I also didn't use purple in like most of the cup. I just put a little bit at the top so it would be on the end and most of it got tilted off. So we're going to actually use it throughout the whole pour this time. So let's start. I want to start with a little bit of the panes gray, just a little bit. And then I want to put a little bit of turquoise in there. So this is going to be what's in the center of our canvas. A little bit of gold. Okay, I have two cups of white. One of them is thinner, so I can use it as a flow extender in a background. So that one has two sticks in it. This is my white that I'm using for the pour. Okay, now we're going to go some purple. I'm going to start doing a little bit thicker layers now and go back to the Payne's Gray. Let's change it up and put some white in there. Don't trip. Okay, and we're going to go turquoise. Gold. And I wanted my paint on the thicker side because we're doing a ring pour, so I want it to hold its shape. Um, the nice thing about the pearl is that it does blend beautifully, and one I love where it blends with the turquoise. So pretty. There's a lot of squee moments <laughs> in the original video. It was pretty funny. I love Payne's Gray. It's a gorgeous color. Purple in there. Same turquoise. Okay. So we have that ready. Um, I'm not going to put down a base coat. I'm just going to put down a puddle of my white. Are we? Here, let me move these over. Okay, so I'm going to put down a puddle of my white that's thinner. 
make sure it is actually still thinner. Yeah, see this one's not leaving a mound on a mound. Well, just a tiny one before it sinks in, but that has a much bigger mound before. So we're gonna pour a little bit of this in the center and then we're gonna pour. So we're gonna do a fantasy ring pour, fantasy pour, straight pour thing. <laughs> okay, ready? now. Still coming out. Let's see, there's the panes that we had at the bottom. Neat. Just going to take my skewer. to travel has beautiful rings in there though. Whew, okay, I'm gonna get a little tiny cup. I'm gonna put some of our gold in it. And we're gonna thin it out just a tiny bit. That's not a tiny bit. If you do that, you pour too much, just pour some of it out. There's rocks under me, so it's okay. And just stir it up so that's thinner than the other paint and we're going to use that as a flow extender so push it back down where it's supposed to be okay that's pretty good here we go i'm going to go around it with the gold So if our paint rolls over this layer of gold, this is the Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in the 24 karat. Hopefully it'll make some beautiful cells for us. Okay, that's good. Still can be a little thick. with the white. Okay. Spread this out real quick. Okay, let's see which way it wants to go.
in the original video, we talk about grabbing onto a corner and hooking the paint onto there and then pulling it back. And that's what opens it up. I'm gonna actually do it one more time so you can see and get some of this off the corner. So you go towards the edge, nice and slow. And let that run off. And then we come back and that opens that all up. A lot of paint on here. See how fast that's moving? Take some of that off of the bottom. Just want to get that bit of gold off of the bottom right there. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Um, the original one had a lot more white in it, which I kind of liked. The center is a bit dark on this one, but we put Payne's Gray in the middle. So I think what I actually want to do is just pour a little, maybe let's see what's still in my cup. I'm just going to pour a little tiny bit of white in there. Like maybe half a teaspoon some gold if there's any gold left which there's not but that's fine because that's the thinner one anyway all right let's just do this little bit of white there's the gold okay I'm just gonna go right in the middle of this That's cool. Okay. What do you think? Should we pour over it? <laughs> or is it good? I kind of do want more white in it though. I think I want to pour over it. Sorry. Won't take long though. Okay, put a little bit of white in. The gold. Turquoise. We're not gonna use as much Payne's Gray this time. Just a little bit. And more white. Center. There we go. That's more what I wanted.
Alright, that's better. Pretty cool. We're gonna leave it just like that. Take a little bit off this side. Okay. Gonna leave that right there. I like it. Let's go. Cool. So this is deeper into the deep. <laughs> Um, I still don't know if I've gotten it exactly how I wanted it in my head, but I like this better. Um, the original one still had a lot more white in it, so we might have to play with it some more. <laughs> but I just wanted to do this quick one for you guys today because I was thinking about it. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate you and your time and you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. I'll see you for the next one. I'll see you when it's dry, actually. <laughs> Okay, um, I just want to, no, I just want to put a little dot of gold in the middle, that's all. Okay. See, there's a little heart. They got a heart on it. <laughs> okay, so this is a few days later. <laughs> this turned out so cool. <laughs> I love the separation of the rings and the colors on this one. So there is some amazing depth. These beautiful fine lines of that iridescent pearl. Really, really cool. And the whole thing has kind of this like silver look to it. And that's the iridescent pearl you can see. It's like very blingy. Very cool. This part is amazing. And there's our little gold heart that we did at the end, the very end. Just silly sometimes, but I like it in there. It kind of reminds me of one of those um, Irish wedding rings, the Cleta, with the, the two hands holding the heart. Kind of neat. But I love there, there's a lot of depth, and that's that Payne's Gray in the very center right there that gives us the illusion of the depth, and then the dark background between those beautiful, fine lines of the iridescent pearl. And then we come over here. This part is just beautiful. I love that turquoise very bright and happy just beautiful up here with the gold you see that sheen on everything this one has not been varnished there is liquitex gloss medium and varnish as the pouring medium which gives it that beautiful sheen and luster but you can absolutely varnish it on top of that if you want to and sometimes i do with some spray varnish lately i've been using the krylon archival uv resistant spray gloss which is pretty cool i like it a lot so this turned out beautiful. I'm really happy that I redid the whole into the deep pour and I'm happy that I poured on top of the first pour because I didn't like that nearly as much as this. So, you know, paint it until you're happy. <laughs> this turned out pretty cool. I'm very happy with this. So this one is deeper into the deep. 
<laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And, uh, you know, I had a lot of fun doing this. So thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful day. If you want to see more of my stuff, you can check it out at Nina Villegas Art on Facebook. Or you can check out my Etsy shop, which I will put this one up there. That's so cool. Look at that beautiful section right there. Awesome. Yay. It worked. <laughs> So this was cool. And the reason that I redid this one was the original pour of Into the Deep. I, I liked it, but I didn't like the center very much. And when I took it into the drying shed, I messed with it and did things to it and unmentionable things. <laughs> and uh, I, in my opinion, I wasn't as happy with it. It still turned out cool. It just wasn't what I wanted. So I really wanted to redo it again, and I'm glad that I did. And I'm glad that the center on this one is much better and definitely has that illusion of depth which was the whole point of into the deep in the first place so thanks for watching guys i'll see you for the next one and we will be doing the constellation ones i just i have to paint more of them first so <laughs> i'll see you guys soon bye bye